Now, Matt Frad was just eight years of age when he found a relative stash of porn magazines. It was to be the beginning of a fascination for him as he gradually became hooked on porn. Now married and a father of two, he says he's learned how to control the temptation. I was eight years old and I remember stumbling into the back of a relative's shed. I was out the back with my brother and we were just kind of mucking around out there. And I walked into the shed and I opened up um, a big trunk and I looked down and I saw a centerfold of a naked woman. And I thought, wow, you're friendly. And that's where it began. You know, I'd never seen anything like that before. By the age of about 11, me and my friend would go into newspaper stores and steal, steal porno, steal Playboy and stuff like that. And we'd shove it under our shirt and, and bolt. And so we developed quite a stash and I kept mine under the bottom drawer of my, uh, of my dresser thinking it was an impenetrable fortress but unfortunately my parents found it. My father found it and, and he just sort of said, all right mate, just don't let your mother find out. And I thought, okay. Walked back into my room, shut the door, I was like deer into headlights, look, you know, like what just happened there? My dad was a, he's a good man and I think he was trying to do something to make me not feel ashamed. But what he did was reaffirm the lie I had been believing, and that was that men look at porn, and it's not a big deal. And Matt and his wife Cameron join us now. You're very welcome to the morning show. Thank you very morning. much. Thank Good you very morning. much for having us. No, we're thrilled that you're here. Matt, um, it went beyond like your, like your dad, and you say that he was, he was, you think, looking back, he was trying to do a good thing, yeah. but trying to make you feel not ashamed. Yeah. But it went beyond that. Well, mm. A teacher told you something as well, which just yes. endorsed it even more. By the age of 13, not only did I have kind of a relative with a stash of porn in the shed, I not only had my dad who kind of congratulated me for it, I had a grade 8 teacher on a camp who basically told us that pornos and masturbation, it's all good, it's healthy, go for it. And if that's not enough, I actually had one of my friend's mum who would, after eating dinner, she would take us out and rent us pornographic films at the age of 12, 13. We'd come back, we'd play Sonic the Hedgehog on the Seeger, and then me and him would head off into the room and watch it. And so, you know, no one had ever told me there might be a problem with this. Well, of course, and, and, and people watching this will say, wow, well, that goes on here as well. Yeah. yeah. That's going sure. on here in this yes. country. Well, we have to remember right that this is really? before the internet, yes. too, right? Uh, like, friends, uh, mothers well, would rent Friend, you've got, you've got mothers <laughs> who are trying to be cool with uh, their yeah. sons yeah. and their sons' friends who will do this for them. It is going on in this country yeah. and people watching the show know that. Yeah. And uh, sexting, is that what it's called? The text messages? Like the secondary 